Now, Chelsea Davis has been reporting on the Maui disaster tirelessly since those fires first broke out. Joining us live this morning with more. Chelsea? Yeah, aloha, Grace. I'm at the FEMA State Disaster Recovery Center here at the University of Hawaii Maui College in Kahului. And this is where federal and state agencies are all coming together to help the survivors. It's like a one-stop shop for recovery assistance. And they tell me they will help the survivors with everything and anything that they need. And I shot parts of it out of focus to protect the privacy of the survivors in there. They have assistance for renters and homeowners, help for small business owners, insurance claims and anyone who is now without a job they say more agencies are on the way and they say bring whatever documentation that you have and if it all burned they will still help you anyway we always say document right after a disaster in this case um, you know it was no notice right and there was no ability to really document right that is not a barrier to receive assistance in this case um, just come in and bring what you have FEMA has already approved more than 1,600 households for cash assistance that they don't have to repay. They also want to expand to include Red Cross to speed up the process of getting people out of the shelter into temporary housing. And in this case, that's hotels. They're encouraging people to come on by, but some are questioning if a center in Kahului is the best solution. So you're not going to, you're going to find people that are going to, like just be in shock for a little while and they're not going to be able to respond. They're not going to go into an office building that they're not going to operate. Their mind isn't going to be able to manage that. And who knows how long that can take. We asked FEMA officials about this and they tell us that they will start going door to door in Lahaina to offer assistance as well. Back out here live at the college in Kahului, the center is open every day until further notice from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. So it's opening in less than an hour. And of course, we have all these details and how to get assistance online as well as a phone number and an app that you can use as well on our website at HawaiiNewsNow.com. Reporting live in Kahului, Grace, back to you. Chelsea, you've been covering this from the very beginning, and I know you're from Maui, born and raised. I got to ask you, with so many people wanting to give help, wanting to donate, do you feel like those donations are getting to the right spots? You know, that's a, a two-part question, yes and no. The shelters, those established Red Cross shelters you know, at War Memorial, at the Hannibal Tavares Community Center in Pukalani, they are getting to those survivors in shelters. What we're seeing and the challenge is what about those survivors who are not in shelters? What about those survivors who may be staying with Ohana, who may be staying with family members who didn't lose their home? But where are they and how do we find them and how do we help them? And how do we help those families who are helping those survivors? Because a lot of the families who took in these evacuees, these survivors, maybe they're a family of five that brought in a family of five or a family of seven. So now they're a family of 12. And as, of course, as we know, it's so expensive to live in Hawaii and Maui. So they need help as well because their households are growing. So we need to find those people and get the donations to them. All right, thanks for putting those challenges in perspective. I know you've been working day and night, so Chelsea, we thank you for being here on Sunrise today.